Hello everybody, welcome to another Exchange 2019 video. And in this video we're going to talk about circular logging. Now, you may be wondering, circular logging versus backups, right? So, think about circular logging as a something to flush your log files if you run into a problem. Uh, B, if you have four copies of a database, where the environment is too large to backup, then you enable circular logging to truncate the log files. Now, generally, you wouldn't have circular logging running on a single database or store in your environment, because you'd have either DPM running backups, which will do either two or three hourly um, incremental updates or backups, and then your full back up on a Saturday for example. But I want to show you that you can firstly check if circular logging is enabled by running a simple command. So this command says get dash mailbox database format list name and we're checking for circular logging. So you can see that I have a default database on both my servers and circular logging is set to false. So if you wanted to now enable circular logging on one of these databases, we would uh, we need to copy the name. So you would do this identity minus circular logging enabled true. So you can see the warning it gives you circular logging parameter change will not be applied in this database before it is remounted. So you can head over to your services and go to your information store and you can basically restart it. I'm actually on the wrong server here. Yeah. Let's go to the right server. So while we wait for that, okay. So now if I go back and check, you'll see that it's enabled for that database. I can do the same thing now from the admin center. If I go to servers, databases, and you see I did this on server A. You can basically see I've got the tabs here. There's my clients, my limits. And let me just make this bigger. Right. And under maintenance, you will see that enable. It hasn't enabled yet on this one. You'll see there. If we go to server B, okay, so it looks like I ran it on server B. Yes, I did. Okay, so that was my mistake. Didn't see which server I did it on. So there you can see the tick mark is, but if I head over to this server, for example, I can do the same thing here. It will give you the same warning as you got here. Now <coughs> generally they say if you have servers as part of a DAG you don't actually have to dismount or mount the storage or the information store. Uh, I'm still old school so I still prefer making that change ensuring that it's done uh, it'll be obviously be part of a change window, so you can have that uh, blip because your database will be on another copy while you dismount and remount this one or reboot the server, whatever works for you. So just to recap, you should have backups running on your databases if they are single databases. And again, if we go here, we can basically see where your backups are. So if you have something like DPM or um, 
any other product that is used to back up exchange it will then basically populate these two of when the backups are done just remember that you cannot have backups running with circular logging enabled because they're obviously going to clash and your backups will be inconsistent most of the time or all of the time um, we have this has come in handy for me it's like we have customers where the backups are not working and then the the disks fill up you can then obviously I normally copy the all the files out in case I need to replay them and then I enable it dismount remount the database let it come online again and then once we're done you untick it again and then dismount remount again and that is circular logging thank you very much for watching